Hello and welcome to the VBA Jetpack course by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video we will learn how to use select case statements in VBA. So let's get started. Here I have student names and their marks in one of the subjects and what we will do in this video is we will see how to use select case statement to get whether the student passed or failed. So we would first analyze these marks and then we would enter whether the student has passed or failed. So let's get into the VB editor mode. I would press Alt F11 and here I've already inserted a module, module 1 and we would write the code here. So let's say the code is sub pass or fail and in this case let me uh, declare a variable so I would use the variable dim marks as byte now in this case since the marks vary from 0 to 100 I can use byte and I would now store these marks in the variable so what I will do is say for example I've selected this cell then I want to analyze this cell here so I would say marks is equal to active cell dot offset 0 comma minus 1 minus 1 because I want to go to the column on the left dot value so now this variable marks would hold the value which is to the left of this cell and now I would use the select case statement so the way to use it is you write select case and then you write that variable or that value that you want to analyze in this case that value is marks but in case uh, you're not using a variable you can simply use this as well now uh, the way we can analyze this is that we would use it almost as if you're using an if statement just the syntax is different so here the way to use it is case is and then you would mention the condition say in this case uh, we say that case is less than 35 then we need to do something and here we would say active cell dot value should then enter this value which is fail and then we'll have case else so similarly as we use if condition if this is less than 35 do this else do this we also have cases here where I say case 1 is it's less than 35 but if it is not then we would switch to case else which would say active cell dot value is equal to pass and now let's run this but before that we also need to close uh, end statement so we would say end select now let's run this let's go through this step by step I would press F8 to step through this as of now the variable is empty but now the variable has marks here which is 52 then it checks this case and this case would fail because 52 is more than 35 so it switches to case else and this cell is exit this uh, line is executed and it gets passed similarly let's try and do this on this one where we expect it to give us fail let's come out of the break mode and let's press F8 here so in this case it's analyzing this and this would be the case here because it's less than 35 and this is executed it says fail so this is how you can use uh, case statements when you're analyzing a couple of conditions in this case we had a very clear-cut condition it could either be less than 35 or more than 35 but in case say if you are putting in the grades then uh, this may be different so let's do one thing let's uh, rewrite this entire thing let's come out of the break mode let me delete these and let's rewrite it so here I would say grades and uh, which is fine let's 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 call it marks only so I'll call it marks and here I would assign marks is equal to active cell oops active cell dot offset and in this case I would offset it by two columns to the left so I would use minus two dot value so now I have my variable now let's start using the select case statement so I would say select case marks and now instead of using case is I would use something different I would say case 0 to 34 and what this does is if this value here is between these two numbers then this statement would be executed so what it will do is it will 
put uh, F grade in the active cell. So in this case, let's say active cell dot value is equal to F. And similarly, we would create other cases as well. So let me quickly copy paste this. So this would be for 35 to 50, 50 to 70, 70 to 80, and 80 to 100. And let me quickly modify these. So it would be 35 to 49, then it would be 50 to 70, then this would actually it would be 69, then this would be 70 to 79, and in this case I can call it case else. And let's change the grades here it would be D, here it would be C, here it would be B and here it would be A. Now let's quickly run this macro. I would press F8 to step through it. Okay, I forgot to close the case, uh, select case statement so I would say end select. And now let's quickly step through it. Let me come out of the break mode. When I press F8 here, this is initialized. Okay, it says mismatch here. Alright, my bad. I need to select this cell first because it's going two cells to the left. So now let's quickly do this. So now when I press F8, marks has the value 52 here and I know that this case would not be executed, this would not be executed but this one would be, this line would be run because uh, 52 is between 50 and 69. So let's quickly go through this. You can see that as soon as I pressed F8, it comes to this line and when I press F8 again it jumps over because this case has been executed and it says grade C. Similarly let's see uh, for 31 what happens. Let's again do this. So I would press F8, 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 F8 and it is executed. This case is executed and then it ends the select statement. It says F. So this is how you can use a select case statement. Uh, this is almost similar to how we use if condition and if then else condition in VBA. It's just that the syntax is different. So that's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.